Hello Squirrels and welcome back to PPM6 TV. Now I know your pain and your problem. You'd like a Neumann, you'd like a BCM 104 or a KM 184 or a U87, but funds are tight. And maybe you're bored with the uh, alternatives um, uh, at the cheaper end of the condenser market. So hey, why don't you try something cheap, but something no Neumann can give you? How about a ribbon mic? Yes, a ribbon. Ribbons are coming back gradually. Of course, great names like Royer and Coles have been at it for years. Um, but SE Electronics have pitched in with an SEX1R. Now, this is the bottom of a range of ribbon microphones that uh, SE offer. And this one is 150 units of currency, depending on where you live and uh, exchange rates and so forth. And um, this is a classic passive ribbon. Although it is ruggedized, you will not kill it with uh, phantom power. But please don't stick phantom power up it if you can avoid it. So what does this sound like compared to a 700 quid uh, Neumann? Let's find out. Now, the first thing you'll notice about the SEX1R is the rather nice uh, fit and finish for the price. And they're able to do that because they use the metalwork uh, from the existing X1 condenser microphone and then replace the condenser element with a ribbon, therefore saving um, a lot of cash. Um, the next thing you'll notice is you need quite a bit more gain. Ribbon mics are less sensitive and uh, obviously not phantom powered. And so um, I've need, I need about 15 dB more gain in this than I do in the Neumann uh, BCM 104. So why the ribbon? Well, ribbons are making a big return. Of course, um, there's there's been uh, long term ribbon manufacturers like Royer and uh, Coles here in the UK. Uh, but a lot of people are getting in on the ribbon act now. And um, Ribbons have a distinctive sound. They are figure of eight uh, microphones. And as you know, there's only two sorts of microphones. There's omnis and figure of eights, and then uh, all sorts of manners of combining them. And um, the figure of eight, uh, you get uh, nulls on, on either side uh, up there because you've got two spheres kind of back to back, uh, which is an interesting um, uh, pickup pattern. And the nulls are very, very dead in a good, in a good ribbon mic. Um, However, what do we do about the, the pickup at the back? Well, what we can do is get a little bit closer uh, and therefore pump more audio into the front. Now, I'm hoping I've got my um, uh, Harkin Pop Killer. I hope I'm not going to pop it, but I'm going to get close. And then after a while, I'll maybe roll a bit of bass off because figure of eights are prone uh, to proximity effect. They exhibit it um, uh, uh, very, 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 very well. So, OK, I'm going to get a bit closer. And uh, what I'll do is we'll start off um, clean, as it were, as the mic hears it. Um, there's no switches, there's no uh, roll-offs or anything on the mic, so we'll do that in EQ and just see if we can get close, um, get a get the close sound that so many people love and you know harass me in the comments, um, uh, but at the same time maybe just tweaking a little bit off the bass so it doesn't completely overpower it. Anyway, there we are. Uh, Alternatives to Neumann, it's going to be a short series of videos. Here's the first one, the SEX1R. Um, cheap as chips and um, well, let me know what you think in the comments below do subscribe it does help the channel uh, thanks for dropping by it's been lovely to see you bye for now